Cash for trash. Cash for trash. Get on it. ka -ching. We're here to take your crap. ka -ching. Hi, I'm Billy Trash, and this is Tracy Cash. Alongside our recycling expert and second-hand dealer, Paul Hogan, we take your trash and we turn it into cash. We go anywhere. The back roads, the side streets, you'll never know who you're gonna meet. Oh, yeah. So we find trash and we turn it into cash. Oh, yeah. Is it cash or is it trash? You'll find out. It's 100% profit with all the items we find. That's right, 100% profit. There it is, ka -ching. We go in any weather. Rain, hail, sleet or shine. We're out there looking, searching for that special something. We can flip for cash. Welcome back to Cash for Trash. Hi, Bill. Hey there, Trace. Well, we are so excited to get out there finally for this, mm. um, for this, for this, First well, for the new time. normal special, yeah. hey, hey? Well, look, it's, we're slowly getting through the COVID thing. This is the COVID special, but, uh, you know, we're doing the right thing out there, Trace. We we're are, making we're sure trying. that... Except I can't do that anymore. And we're out and about again. We're free. We're free again, Trace. <laughs> Freedom! All right, so, lovely. All right, well, look, we'll see you guys out there. We're going to show you guys at home how to make money out of nothing. Hey? Exactly. Is it that easy? Exactly. It's that easy. All right, we'll see you out there, viewers. We'll see you on the pick. See you soon. See you soon. Nothing I want, you got nothing I need. Dun, dun. Here it is. <laughs> hey Trace. Here we are. We're back. We're back. Now I think we could take our COVID, <laughs> our COVID, COVID back. Our, COVID, uh, our masks back off. Look guys, welcome back to another absolutely riveting season of Cash for Trash. Good and to he, be back, Bill. Good it's, to be back. It's good to be back. We've been in lockdown for quite some time now. Eight months. Eight months here in Victoria. Mm. This is the first opportunity we've had to get out here and start looking and making a bit of money. And because there's not a lot of money out there, Trace, with mm. people suffering a bit, with losing their jobs, employment, we're now going to show people how easy it is to make money, to make cash for trash. Because everything's been closed, Bill. So... A lot of people are selling online, us included, um, and you know, COVID-free homes and contact, contactless pickup is is all the norm now. That's sort of like the buzzword, uh, apart from bubble. <laughs> bubble, <laughs> and new what normal. Else? Yeah, new normal, <laughs> COVID normal. Okay, listen guys, let's all get right. out there and let's have a bit of a look and see what we can find. Come on a journey with us. Let's show you how easy it is to make some money from nothing. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Bill, it's hang on a minute. Right. Before you dive, yeah. I've found something wrapped in bubble, bubble wrap under here. If you could give me a hand. Oh! Okay, so they're obviously Good. not together anymore. <laughs> Billy, this one's been tightly wrapped. Look out, look out. And it might even be the same couple. So it's not looking good. I'm gonna tear that. Hold that, Bill. Right. Okay, here we are, guys. We've got one in bubble wrap. Now, just remember, we're only talking about the frames here, guys. You don't have to worry about the picture. Someone's thrown this at... My God, look at this. Well, she was a very... What a handsome couple. Yeah. Anyway, that's the way it goes. Only one in two make it these days, Trace. But I spy a Star Wars something here. Oh. 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 Wow. I don't know what they're... they're it's, it's, it's a Popcorn Hoyts Star oh. Wars. The Force Awakens. So these are quite... Collectible. Well, The Force Awakens, when did they make that? 
I don't know. I think they made that a while back, guys. I'm not. Um, the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Isn't that the latest one? Now, yeah. All right. Well, look. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Why not? Let's put them aside. We can give them a put wash. Put them down there. We'll give them a wash. So, Trace has given them the thumbs up. Got to get a couple of bucks. All right. Again. Off I go again. Be careful. Hang on. What's that? That's a Riga. That's a sprayer. Oh. Oh, with the attachment. I reckon we might take that. I think Hogs will be interested in that. That's right. All right. Well, I'm set. Now, what am I doing, Trace? What is a Riga? Help me out here. It's a it's an it's a insecticide sprayer. So you put all your poisons, chemicals in there, and not quite sure. Well, there's an on-off tap here, but it seems like it's a bit seized. But it's copper. Well, what's what's, of... what's Hogs' thoughts on this one? Do you I think, think? I think Hogs is going to give it a thumbs up. Okay. All right. We'll take this one. Yes. All right. Well, look. I'll take it up to the camera. Let's have a look at Tim. Um... Hang on. I'm stuck with boxes everywhere. Wow. So much cardboard. Wow. What's wrong with the recycling bin? So we've got the Riga. We've got the Riga trace. All right. There mm. we go. All right. So I'll put that to one side. I think that's a bit of a classic. Oh, look at, Australia. look at this. Look, it's not that old because it says litres. We have had some that are made out of metal, which are in the imperial measurement Okay. Balance. Okay. But this is still okay. And these, like my Rossi boots, right, are made... You see that? Made in Australia, made in Australia. There's not many things matchy, apart from matchy. you and I that are made in Australia, <laughs> Trace, anymore. If anything, the pile's going to look a lot neater. Trace, no, no, no. It's sort of like a little mini clothes horse. He's not serious. Bill? Bill? I'm all right. Oh, that's a bit cute. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that. That's, um, that's, that's a beautiful bit of work. The glass is all in perfect condition. Comes with a candle, but isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely beautiful, Trace. Uh, look, and I'll tell you what, that the glass is, there's no broken glass there. That looks like in good condition. But anyway, we'll, we'll get good money for that. What, what, are you, what are you talking for that one, Trace? Oh, at least 25. 25? 25? 25, sorry. COVID. Oh, I want to see your beautiful face. <laughs> Look at that. 25? 25 bucks. All right, let's put it over there with the others. I think we're done here. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Just one more box to look in. Okay, geez, I'll tell you what, she's keen today. She's keen today. Cash for trash. Cash for trash. Get on it. ka -ching. Evening viewers and welcome to another edition of the Hoax Report. <laughs> no, I don't know where that came from. <clears throat> Compose yourself. Evening viewers and welcome back to another edition of the Hoax Report. Well you might remember that pic we had in Stonington where we had an interview with another picker and they were picking up child gates for people for doggies and things like that. Anyway, at that pick, Trace always says, you know what, always look in the boxes. Well, as you remember, she looked in the box, one of the boxes, and she found these two, two uh, antique English saws. They're earmarked, they've got these, these um, brass, inlays and when you research them they're bloody old they're, they're from the 1800s for crying out loud i mean look at the condition of them I mean, it's 2020 for god's sake anyway look them up on the net they're worth between one and two hundred dollars each and someone's just chucked them out on hard rubbish for us to come along pick them up and that is cash for trash just like that and they're still sharp I mean, they don't make them like that anymore. No, we we'll use electric saws now. <laughs> Occasionally, you do need a good quality saw. And somebody will buy those. And we'll bring that to you on another edition of uh, online auction action. And um, we'll keep you informed of how they go. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again to the Hogs Report. And we'll catch you next time, viewers. Cheers. It's a slow day and we
While Trace is looking over there, I'm going to have a look over here, guys, because something has caught the corner of my eye. Let's have a quick look here. Right. Well, that's just a piece of junk. So here, we call it cash for trash. There's a reason, guys, because sometimes you can make cash and sometimes, yep, it's just trash. So we've got it, we've got Trace's fan in the box here, guys, a used microwave. Bring it in, let's have a good look at this. I think that's the same. Yeah, put it, put it on there, put it on here. Put it on here, Trace, put it on here. Okay, geez, I'll tell you what, what, they cut the cord. I can't even see what Oh, looks like they've, cu they've cut the cord. And look, I suppose when you've got something electrical so that you are telling other people, please don't take this, there's something electrically wrong with it. You cut the cord. Best thing to do. I think they've done the right thing there, Trace. Yeah, probably. Yes. Because we have got a big day of picking today, guys. It is just mayhem out there after COVID. So what we're going to do, let's have a little look, Trace, at what we found. Yeah. Come on, guys. So Trace has found this beautiful um, lantern. And um, we're looking at it. Yeah. And we're looking at, how much did you say for that, Trace? 25 at least. At least. Minimum. 25? 25 minimum. 25 minimum, guys. So... Let's just add up. We've been here. We've been here for about what half an hour, Trace? Would you say? Yeah, close to half an hour. So there we go. So we got that one. So twenty-five. Let's start adding it up. Twenty-five bucks, right there, guys. They go quick on eBay. Let me tell you. Now this thing. We've got the Riga. We've got the Riga. The Riga sprayer. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a clean up. We'll get. I don't know. Maybe twenty bucks for that. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Twenty bucks is twenty. I love it. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. It's a habit to have a mask on now. It's a good habit to get into, Trace, yeah. because it's helped our contact tracing. It's helped us get, get through this. All right, look. Oh, unless you're Trump. All right, there we go. But he's on his way out, thank goodness. All right. He was an entertainer himself, wasn't he, eh? Look at that. Star Wars, Star Wars. There, We got the, um, we got the Rise of Skywalker, and we've also got um, The Force Awakens. Look. Oh, look, Still got salt in it. Look, five bucks. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You hold on to them. In 20 years, they'll be 50 bucks. That's the thing about those things, guys. Put them away this now. The biggest thing. Okay, so this lovely couple, obviously no more. Um, but the frames are beautiful frames. And uh, we're going to take the frames, but we'll be respectful of the, the photos of the lovely couple and take them out nicely. And... Um, I reckon we'll get um, probably 30 bucks each frame. Easy. 30 bucks a frame. They're a beautiful frame. Beautiful frame. Yeah, it is a lovely frame, Trace. Look at that. This one is even still in bubble wrap. Mm. Two to three hundred dollar frame. Are you, you, uh, That's a two, you are shitting me. That's a two to three hundred dollar frame. Here we go. We can probably even look it up. <laughs> COVID has affected everything. We're all we're all needing a bit of mental help. Mm. But um, at the end of the day, uh, it's always there for you in Australia, isn't it? That's yeah. a beautiful thing. I've just digressed there. I've just digressed with a community announcement. Look, nothing unusual. With fantastic that. pick, Trace. All right, we should uh, move on. Load up. Time to move on. Yeah. Let's all right. Load up and go, Bill. Okay, let's get off to the next one. And there we were, Trace. We were looking through the first pick, and what did we find? Uh, what did we find first? I think it was the Riga, the uh, insecticide sprayer. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was good. It's not old, old, but still that's worth 20. And it's 20 all, bucks? Got all the bits to it, got the lid, got the spraying apparatus. So that was a good find. You know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So we got the Riga and then all of a sudden there we were just looking through the pile. And what did we find? Um, picture two, frames. Two beautiful picture frames. Very expensive. They were all um, professionally mounted. The, uh, the happy couple, which is obviously not a happy couple anymore. <laughs> but the frames are worth good money. And I was thinking earlier, maybe 30 each. But they're probably worth a couple of hundred dollars each. Um, but, you know, we'll a take A couple of hundred. I yeah. mean, picture frames aren't cheap, are no, they? No, because it, they've all been um, mounted professionally. So... Just that in itself. They don't. They don't use cheap frames, photographers. No, and and one of them had the bubble wrap in it. Yeah, yeah. It was obviously in the wardrobe for a long time. <laughs> so there we go. That's that's incredible, Trace. So we've just struggled with the first pick, and we found the Riga, the um, insecticide spray thing, which is very old, got a bit of history and a yeah. bit of life to it. Yeah. A bit of a rustic item. Made in Australia. Made in Australia. 
and then uh, and then we and then we found the two picture frames mm. and um, we're thinking that they might be worth a lot more than what we're thinking. Yeah, so we'll do a bit of research when we get back and um, have a look. Okay, terrific. All right, well, well that's great. That worked out really well. Picture mm. frames, Riga insecticide spray. Great job. It was good. We should uh, move on. Let's get off to the next one. See you soon. See you soon, viewers. Cash for trash. Cash for trash. Get on it. Get you. Mr. Tune, Hugs. I don't remember this song. Right, pile two. This is it. We haven't even gone five seconds, guys, and we're off to pile two. Let's make some more money. Come with us. We'll show you how it's done. So um, we're just going to go through this and have a bit of a look and see what's here for the, our show on TV, Cash for Trash. Excellent. All right, let's, let's go and check it. it out. Let's show you viewers at home how easy it is to make money out of absolutely nothing at the same time help the planet well that's that's the end goal let's go and have a look now the first thing hoax found this and hoax has has seen something which he's pulled out and trace can you just show us here what hoax has found what's he found this box may say anko hand mixer which we all know is a kmart brand but lo and behold it's a sunbeam beta mix with the beaters. Now, what else have we got here? Easy can, can opener, winning. These little beauties lock onto your can and snap so easy to open everything. That's a winner, we'll take that. Wow. Let's, uh, let, let's go diving in on Australia's most dangerous sport, hard rubbish diving. Come with us guys, let's show you what we can do here. So, Tra while Trace is looking over there, Give us a hoy if you find anything, Trace. I'm going to go through here. Now, oh, look at this. This is, it's the time of year to be merry. And I'll tell you what, there is a full packet here. Trace, did you see this? Come on over a look. We've got 50 assorted Christmas cards, all right? Now, for all those people in the office and all those people out there that you don't really like and you don't want to spend any money but you want to get a few brownie points with the boss, that's perfect, all right? Merry Christmas, you beep. We got a little bit of rain. And that's a bit of surprising in Melbourne to have rain and <laughs> anyway, but it's coming. All right, never mind. We're, um, we're, uh, we're all weather people. So uh, the weather doesn't worry us. Oh, have a look at this. I found something here, Trace. This is a bit of a crack up, I think. I'm not sure what this is. Look at, oh, it's, got, oh, it's not good. Look at this. Now this, guys, it's not it's not good inside, but Trace, have a look at this. This, oh, it's just got a bit of shit inside. That, that is, that goes on the back of a boat. Yeah. yeah. That is, that is a fishing esky. Yeah. Do you reckon, and Hoags has given that the thumbs up, but I'm just, if we just tip all that muck out. We got gloves on, guys. You know what? It do, no, it doesn't smell of fish. You know what that is? That's just got a bit of rain in it. So that one, that one's going with us. That was going with us. That's our fishing esky. 
I haven't got a boat. Are you a boaty person, Trace? You go. I don't have a boat. I don't have a boat. I don't have a boat. You know what? You know what floats our boat, guys? You know what floats our boat? What floats our boat is picking through hard rubbish. That's what floats our boat. Now I'll tell you what I've got here. It is the season to be jolly, and we've got. What's that trace? That's going. All right. I don't want that to land on you, mate, because it is Australia's most dangerous sport. Look at this. We've got. There's a full Christmas tree in there, mate. There's a full Christmas tree. Now all those people out there doing a bit tough. You could obviously, you could make a Christmas tree out of that for the kids. We're not gonna bother, but these are the sort of things that can, just, just helps everyone. You know what I mean? Seriously. I mean, you know, if I was if I was living in Mumbai and I come across this, I'd build a house. I could build a house. I could build a house. I've got a washing machine. Already got a washing machine, all right? I don't know, I'd probably be struggling with electricity. But uh, we've got a range hood, right? There we go. We've, we've nearly got a full house. We've nearly got a full house here. And when I get, um, when, when I want to go and do some sport, I just get up the, I get out the old golf clubs. Look at that. I get out the old golf clubs and uh, I hit the course, right? And Hargs has been known to hit the course, but I don't think that's, uh, is that even, is that even a, a, a classic of any nature whatsoever or is it just a piece of garbage? I think it's uh, cheap and nasty, 20 bucks. Okay, we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. Well, what else have we got near? Oh, here we are, Trace. And what a fantastic pick we've had today. Had a really now, while we're on the maritime theme, we found this. This is an esky. Now, it was a little bit yucky inside, but it's got um, it's it's a Iceman esky. It's got the uh, it's got the fishing rod holders. You know, it's all working. Hogs is going to polish that up. We're, we're going to we're going to give that a bit of a clean. It doesn't smell of fish or anything. So um, you know, that one's a keeper. That one's a keeper. And what are we saying for that, Trace? What are we saying for this uh, for the esky here? I think twenty. 20 bucks, 20 bucks for that all day long. It's in pretty good nick, goes on the back of a boat. And, um, so what, what are we thinking? I think today, four hours, I reckon, I reckon about 320 bucks worth. Is that a fair estimate? Uh, I wouldn't like to put a price on it, but let's just say it was enough to cover the petrol and, um, and our time. Okay, so I reckon... It's not about the, it's not about the monetary no, reward. No, 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 we're a not-for-profit organisation. Look at all this stuff that's not going to landfill. It's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. Well, I've done some quick figures, and I've come up with about that figure because I think that it's about time that we started showing the viewers out there how easy it is to make money from nothing, right? That's it, that's it. And your chicks for free. Another bid. And another bid. Oh, oh, 142. Come on, where's my ka-ching? Oh, there it is, ka-ching, ka Not a problem at all. And thanks for appearing on Cash for Trash. Happy diggings. <laughs> Cash for Trash, love it. Oh, there it is, ka-ching, ka -ching.